the ceremonial start to lawmaking in Texas. Tuesday, the kickoff to the 83rd legislature went as expected. At the request of my colleagues, I withdraw my candidacy. Well, almost. The closely watched House Speaker's race turned out not to be much of a competition, with Representative David Simpson of Longview taking himself out of the running. I declare the Honorable Joe Strauss of Bear County to be Speaker of the House of Representatives of the 83rd Legislature. Within minutes, Representative Joe Strauss of San Antonio was elected to his third term as Speaker of the House. We may disagree at times about the size of government and the need for spending. But I think we can all agree that our budget should be honest and straightforward with taxpayers. Across the hall, the budget was the focus of Governor Perry's remarks to members of the Senate. To keep our state afloat. As you know, all. Is there a doctor in the, in the audience? A staffer fainted, forcing the governor to pause mid-sentence. She soon came to, and officials said she'd be okay. I have not had that kind of impact on anyone in a long time. Perry returned to his speech and outlined what he'll focus on in the months ahead, passing a fetal pain bill and drug testing for welfare recipients among them. At the start of the week, we learned the Texas legislature will have $101.4 billion to work with for its next two-year budget, along with an extra $11.8 billion in the rainy day fund. We have to remember that Monday's revenue estimate represents not a chance to spend freely, but an opportunity to rededicate ourselves to the very policies that have made Texas economically strong. After the pomp and circumstance of the opening day, expect a lull in legislative action until committees get to work in the coming weeks. We're back. Reporting at the state capitol, this is Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune.